Hello, welcome to Scratch 3 Printing. I've been seeing many people saying that the Cobra 3 sucks. Let's scratch today's topic. So let's go on and talk about the Cobra 3 combo or just the Cobra 3 itself. Like I said, I've been going through Reddit, YouTube videos, stuff like that. People are saying that the Cobra 3 sucks. It cannot print, it cannot do its auto bad leveling. It cannot print the first layer, the quality sucks. It's just like a bad 3D printer. Well for me, I got the Cobra 3 combo. For about 3 months now, ever since they launched it, I bought it. And I think my version of the Cobra 3 is possibly close to the first couple of batch that and the Cubic has made out and sell it to us. For me, the Cobra 3 has been working flawlessly with minimum issues. Yes, a couple of times it does have failed prints here and there. Sometimes it can't really do the first layer of print, but what 3D printers has 100% success in doing the first layer and have never had a failed print. Even like Bamboo Blast 3D printers, I have seen people say that it sucks, the quality is bad, it cannot do first layer, it keeps lifting up even if they are just using PLA. But I'm not saying that those are bad, I don't have a Bamboo Blast printer so I'm just saying of what I saw. And I feel like those people are just like the small percentage of owning a 3D printers, mainly the Cobra 3 in this video, owning a 3D printers and saying that it cannot print well. Maybe it's their first 3D printer, they didn't really calibrate the 3D printer properly, or Maybe it has some bad sensoring, bad motherboard, and something like that. Not all 3D printers are perfect, and based on my experience of owning a couple of 3D printers, I can say that the Cobra 3 has been one of the best 3D printers that I have ever owned. I'm just gonna compare this to the Ender 3 bd just a little bit, but I am planning on making that video in the future, so if you want to see that video, and see which 3D printers I will basically choose, and give my opinion about those 3D printers, which one I would actually buy, Subscribe to the channel. For a quick comparison of the Ender 3v3 and the Cobra 3, this part was printed on the Ender 3v3 and this part was printed on the Cobra 3. They are the exact same part, no changes, nothing. I print this one first on the Ender 3v3. Oh, and they are both PLA from the same company, it's just different color. I print this one on the Ender 3v3 and in here was supposed to hold a bearing, which is this bearing right here. And I will put the bearing inside of here. Push it very hard, but no matter how hard I push, it will not fit in there. And this one is from the Cobra 3. Same thing, nothing changed. I just put the model and send it over to the Cobra 3 and print it. Nothing changes. This one, I can actually put the barrel in there and push it all the way through. Maybe the circle is way too small than what I initially modeled this. But for the Cobra 3, the circle down here is a lot closer to what I have modeled on this part and it fits perfectly. And just for one last comparison, look at the bottom part. The Ender 3v3 here, you can see that it's a lot worse than the Cobra 3 print parts. But this comparison video and a lot more models that I will show off between these two 3D printers will be coming in a future video, so subscribe for that. Yeah, for the Cobra 3, I get these parts that has printed so nicely. The layer lines are stacking really nicely on top of each other. And even right here, it's a 45 degree angle, it just prints perfectly. The bottom parts print so nice, even the first layer, look at that. The first layer prints so good, even with just a small amount of surface, it still prints the whole way through without any problem. And I don't even have an enclosure on it. Another model that I would like just to show is this model right here. Well, it's one, it's a model for my future project too, so oh my gosh, so many things is coming. And if you aren't subscribed, I don't know what you're doing. But anyway, this thing was printed fully on the Cobra 3 with no support. Well, because of my modeling skill, most of the things that need support, I fix it. And it doesn't need support at all, which is amazing. It prints really nicely, even with all of these like weird angle and just so much things going on in this part particularly. It still gives a really nice finish. The only thing that has a small defect on is right here. It's because of these four things right here that it's causing this layer to look like that. And most 3D printers have this problem where if you have an offset like this, the layer here is going to shift like that. I don't know what caused that problem. It's not the Cobra 3 itself. Many 3D printers does that. Even the Kibo Max does this all the time. And I think I actually test this once before. Maybe the reason is me for not changing the speed and the flow as this goes up. Because for 3D printing, as it goes up here, it starts fast and then slower, slower, slower. I did a video on that. I'll leave a link up here and a link in the description. Why it's causing these problems. I just use the default setting on this model. So with this print quality, it's pretty good and it's usable. Another defect is up here where it has this cut here and then it just did that but the rest is good. Back here, right? 
look at that it right here and then it goes back it goes back to normal it's just this part right here many 3d printers have that problem the bottom layer is flawless look at that you can't even see the layer line you just see the texture bed which is amazing okay now that i show a couple models of the cobra 3 and talk about how i don't really get a print on the Cobra 3 and the print quality is really good for its pricing I will say the things that have caused problems for the Cobra 3 is the nozzle leaking I made videos about that too so just go check it out the nozzle leaked because of any cubic use I guess cheaper or like they didn't really think that this is gonna be a problem they didn't use like the proper adhesive or make the hot end a little bit better and it just leaked from there but they did an amazing job of providing free replacement for the Cobra 3 hot end if your nozzle is leaking you can request a free hot end from any cubic which is amazing another problem is with the Ace Pro my first lot have this clicking noise when it's retracting and I think it might be just the firmware or the software that the gears are not turned correctly and then just click 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 but I have not got any trouble with printing or retracting everything still works perfectly fine Nothing wrong with the Cobra 3, it's just that it keeps slinging poop, but I got the poop catcher too, so it works fine now. The quality, the speed, the first layer, VFA, and I gotta touch on VFA, but it has potentially minimum, minimum VFA. So I think if it has VFA right here, behind it, it will definitely leave a trace of VFA, but there's no trace, it just print flawlessly. And these corner here, right, these turn corner, if there's VFA, you will definitely see that there's a follow up VFA back there and or back here but there's none it's just straight line stacking on top of each other now like I have said before the Cobra 3 is one of the first 3D printers that I've owned that are stacking layers really nicely even on this side right here all the layers are stacking so smoothly that if you look at it from here it's not even like a 3D printed part it's that smooth if this build doesn't really make sense it's here and there i'm sorry i just have to put this out there for the cobra 3 oh and by the way i bought it myself they did not send it to me so it's a really honest review and everything on my youtube channel is true there's no fake here i don't i don't really fake stuff i don't know why what i even fake stuff it doesn't really make sense but yeah this is like a really ex personal experience just like a hobby user of the cobra 3 and it just super fine for me there's no problem there used to be a problem like the slicer sucks but they upgraded to a clone workout slicer and now the slicer works perfectly everything up with the core 3 is just working normally for me there's no problem those people that say that the core 3 doesn't work fine it's only like a small percentage like a one to five percentage of the 3d printers being defect and not working but i think if you contact any cubic by submitting a ticket on their website they will definitely answer back and help make things right this has been dragging for way too long and i think i kind of made the point here the cobra 3 is a really good 3d printer for its price and it works fine oh and if you are interested in the cobra 3 i'll leave a link down below for you to purchase one it's still on sale so it's just really nice i might grab myself a second one later on if i have the space in my room oh and by the way comment down below what do you think about the cobra 3 do you own one is it good is it bad thank you so much for watching and as always keep on 3d printing